ほう向かってくるのか見えずにこのディオに近づいてくるのか Sometimes all you can do, my friends, is leave a thumbs up. Just like that's all you could do if you really want to show me some support. Smash thumbs up on this video. Leave a subscribe. Thank you guys so much for getting to 180,000 subscribers. Almost. We're so close. Now, my friends, we are looking at the Perpetualis today. This is the season defiant weapon, whatever you want to call it. It's a strand 600 RPM. We've got elemental capacitor, but we're not using it on strand. We're using it on sentinel for that stability bump. Cascade point is the real focus of today's video. Final blows or sustained precision hits with another weapon increases this weapon's rate of fire for a short duration. So this is like Desperado for auto rifles, basically. And there's another thing, Noble Deeds, the really interesting origin trait. However, we're not going to be getting much use out of it because we're running solo in Rumble. Now we're using a Forgiveness Adept with Harmony in combination with our Cascade Point Perpetualis. So you can see what we're going with here. We get a kill with one weapon, Cascade Point's going to activate on this, then Harmony's going to activate on that. Yeah, this is nasty, my friends. Yeah, this was a lot of fun. I first of all want to give a big shout out to Forgiveness because it was like it was like the Roberto Firmino to the Mo Salah. Start of the season will now be maintained. You know what I'm saying? The Perpetualis is the Mo Salah and the Roberto Firmino is the Forgiveness. Doing all the hard work in the background, not getting any of the credit. You know what I'm saying? Because it's propping us up and giving us that platform to have Cascade Point active all the time, like you can see right here. But the cool part is every time I then get a kill with my AR, I then have harmony for the sidearm and vice versa. It's a real, real loop of destruction. Listen up, you son of a bitch. Whoa. Oh my God. Speaking of destruction, this teabag and Timmy Warlock over here, he doesn't realize that Cascade Point's ready and Weapons of Light is ready. And yeah, the most disrespectful kill I've done in a while. Just stood there and held down the trigger and shredded him and taught him a real good lesson. And yeah, it's just nasty, man. The forgiveness is so good. Weapons of light and cascade point illegal. Incredible fish. Fishing. This is a no fishing zone. We just got a kill with the sidearm. Cascade point is ready. My opponent isn't ready, though, to get absolutely beamed like that. It is disgusting, my friends. Another fish in the books. This monster is a catfish. And now cascade point is ready because obviously heavy weapon, special weapon, whatever. It doesn't matter. Bang. Punch one, two die. Hit him with a big man punch the big man ting the titan ting the fish ting boom cascade point ready you hit me with the sniper but we don't care bang this is what i'm talking about this is such a fun way to play probably the most fun i've had using double primary cool thing is as well this isn't even a fully crafted version of the weapon i just turned in some engrams at the helm and i luckily enough got one i absolutely want to fully craft one of these with enhanced cascade point though so expect to see that video as well at some point in the near future now I want to talk a little bit about how you use Cascade Point. You get a kill, it then says Cascade Point ready. You have five seconds then to make use of Cascade Point. When you switch to the gun itself, you've got about two seconds to get sniped in the face, or you've got two seconds to take advantage of Cascade Point. So there is a little bit of management here. This isn't, you know, it's not as brain dead as something like Kill Clip or as this laggy hunter because, oh my God, I think his hunter I think his internet's running by a hamster on a wheel. Look how nasty that is, man. Look how nasty that is. There's some planning and anticipation that goes into this. Every time you get a kill, Harmony is also ready on the sidearm. You get the kill with the sidearm. <laughs> You've now got five seconds to switch to your AR and then two seconds to get the job done. Fortunately, we decided to jump there and uh, that was not going to help us get the job done. But yeah, this is one of the best double primary setups I've used in a long time. Genuinely felt very powerful. And I think in no small part that is helped massively by the forgiveness sidearm because it's so strong on its own that it's giving us the platform to trade with every single person we get into a melee fight with. But no, but seriously, it's giving us a platform to have Cascade Point active at a very, very consistent rate. They've done studies, you know. 60% of the time, it works every time. 
that doesn't make sense. And it's just a very, very good combination. Look at this. Look at this, my friends. It is absolutely nasty. We get to be half and half here. Meta Mitchell with the forgiveness, Creative Colin with the Cascade Perpetualis. You get the best of both worlds. And that is what it's all about, my friends. You know what I'm saying? A little bit creative. This Warlock, the skinny dipping Warlock from the intro, he's back. He's back because we get to laugh at him one more time. What are you doing? What are you doing? I don't understand. I don't know. I think I scrambled his brain when I punched him in the head there. I think that big Warlock brain just got scrambled. This little sequence here is a great, great showcase of how good this is. It's just so nice. Switching to and fro, getting a damage buff on each gun every time we switch, the lethality, the surprise on their face when they're melted by a 600 RPM AR that I'm presuming turns into a 720. So it's essentially like Desperado for auto rifles, basically. You're hitting as hard as a 600 RPM while shooting as fast as a 720 AR. And that is just a filthy, filthy combination. Right. I've got it. I possibly need to grab it a little bit closer to the head. Speaking of filthy, that was a little bit fishy. You know what I'm saying? And again, Cascade Point activating via the fish as well. So there's a lot of Cascade Point going on. And uh, 600 RPM ARs are very much a middling kind of weapon, really. They're not top of the tree. They're not bottom of the tree. But when you get Cascade Point active and Cascade Point is ready, all of a sudden it bears its fangs. It's one of those things. It might not be that great all the time, but when you're using such a disgustingly strong gun like the Forgiveness in tandem with it, then it just starts to get nasty. Like, look how quickly this guy's going to die. Look at that. 29 to the head. Disgusting, my friends. Big Rahul. Rahul, you think you're tough, my friend? <laughs> oh my god, Rahul just battered us. No, listen. Can we get a memory wipe on the viewers for that one, guys? Oh, wow. Bo Barry, you just got Rahul. This is my new enemy, man. You just got Rahul. He thinks he's tough. This guy's got a sidearm, but I've also got a sidearm on. You know, the only talented sidearm user in town today, mate. You know, you know those ones where they're blasting you with a sidearm when you're using a hand cannon? Not today, my friend. Not today. Today, I show no forgiveness. No for... Ah, oh, damn, I should have jumped. Look out. We got a tough guy. Ooh, sidearm Samuel shooting my body. Did you guys see that? Not too sure that was a clever move, to be honest with you. I do want to get something out of the way, and that is how this weapon performs when you don't have Cascade Point active. And I would say this weapon is pointless without Cascade Point. That is the point what I'm trying to make. Anyway, let me stop with the point puns. Basically, it's just pretty average. Ooh, Mara solves only fans. <laughs> Yo, Yo, could we get a laugh track going for Mara solves only fans? Don't think it's hilarious for Rahul. Rahul, Mara solves only fans. This lobby is stacked to the gills. We've got Sidearm Samuel shooting my body in here. Look at this lineup in this lobby. Oh, he's going to do it again. Shut up and turn back around. You see that? He did it again. Bang. Pop, pop, bang. Fish to the face. No more, mate. No more. Marasov's OnlyFans with the hilarious name. Yo, mate, stick to the day job. Comedy's not your forte. Let me tell you. Let me tell you something. And uh, we need one more kill. Sidearm Samuel needs to look up. Sidearm players don't like to do that very often. Yes. And uh, we're just giving him a bit of pop, pop, bang. You know, returning the favor with interest. That's how we like to roll out here. And we're back on Exodus Poo for one more game, my friends. Bang. Fish gun to the face. And as you can see, Cascade Point is active. And now we've got Harmony, Alacrity on the Forgiveness, Subsistence. Yeah, this, uh, this Forgiveness is unbelievable, guys. Like... I could very easily just never use the auto rifle and just murder the whole lobby with this sidearm. It is insane. Honestly, I have these weapons of mass destruction in my vault that I just don't use because I'm a nice guy. And if you ask me, that is like worthy. I need you guys to smash the like button because look at this monster of a gun that I never used, you know? I could be committing war crimes in the Crucible, but instead I use Perpetuality to Cascade Point. You know what I'm saying? And sometimes that's what happens. You know, sometimes you lose. And you know what I say when I lose, right? So, I try to be honest, and be honest is uh, is to say that, in my opinion, the best team lost. You know what I say. Anyway, guys, that's the end of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to leave a like, drop a comment, subscribe. 
Guys, we're really close to 180,000 subscribers. If you made it all the way to the end of this video and you still haven't hit subscribe, maybe this will convince you to do so. Much love and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.